What are the reasons for this? Is this a rift between number 10 and number 11, or is it simply just that the NHS wasn't ready? Well, it really depends who you ask when it comes to this. Of course, we are getting some sort of announcement today. It's a little bit uh, confusing because we're hearing today My Planned Care, which is a service that people will be able to go and use online in order to find which areas have the lowest waiting lists to get the um, best chance of their operations. My Planned Care is being launched today, but the National Care Plan is being delayed. That was meant to all come out at the same time, but according to reports this morning, what has happened is that the Treasury has got involved saying that this needs to be delayed. This hasn't been properly thought through. What the Treasury say also is that the NHS say that it's not quite ready yet, whereas number 10 wanted out today. What's the delay about? Well, to some extent, the Treasury want to make sure that money is being well spent. We know that the uh, NHS has had huge amounts of money pumped into it over the last few years. Compared to where it was in 2009-2010, it's had 40% funding increase. It's really quite extraordinary numbers of tens of billions of pounds that have gone into this, into this organisation. So to some extent you can understand the Treasury argument that this needs to be money well spent, that there needs to be really clear accountability structures here. But on the other hand, it does seem like this is something that Number 10 was really wanting to get out now, to have a policy focused week, particularly with regards to focusing on health and that NHS backlog, and it does look like the Treasury has been meddling. Yeah, um, what then, from a political gossip point of view, does this mean in terms of the, the whole subplot, um, uh, Rishi Sunak's department against uh, the, the Prime Minister Boris Johnson on, on all of this? Um, and it gives credence to the fact that there may be friction uh, between the two. I think it's certainly undoubtable that there is some friction between number 10 and number 11. To some extent, twas ever thus. We saw friction between Theresa May and Philip Hammond. We saw friction between Tony Blair and Gordon Brown. We have seen friction between prime ministers and chancellors for quite some time. However, uh, given the situation, the political situation that the prime minister is in and the uh, almost sort of appointed air that uh, that 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 Rishi Sunak seems to be in the eyes of many, it does seem to be that there is a bit of a political back and forth here, a bit of a briefing war sometimes between number 10 and number 11. I think it would be, uh, it would be a little bit naive to dismiss that as something that's been playing into this story as it rolls out today.